here's the situation. We're here with Joe's 71 Barracuda. Uh, he's just going to take us through what he's doing to it. You've probably seen it in the background of some of the videos. Yeah, it's been sitting here for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, Mother's Day, I think, is the anniversary day that I purchased it. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess later on that story. Yeah. But so for now, we're just going to kind of, I'm going to take you around, have Joe just kind of talk through what he's doing to it. As you can see, it's on a full rotisserie. So drive lines out of it, rear ends out of it, engines out. So just kind of take you through. This is kind of like the beginning intro vi video of this car. We're not going to take you through every step. It's just going to kind of check in as Joe does stuff to it. Um, yeah. That's it, so enjoy. Well anyway, this is my 71 Barracuda. I've had it for a couple years now and decided to start working on it. Um, so far, it was not a running driving car when I got it, so the motor got pitched real real early because it was pretty much toast. Um, not, it wasn't a numbers matching motor or anything. Um, so basically, just kind of stripped it down and just wanted to do a quick video on it and see, uh, just kind of, because people see it in the background and wonder what's going on with these things, but um, gonna get it stripped. I've got a date with a sandblaster guy to come down here to basically sandblast and um, water blast the whole car so it will be completely stripped of all paint, undercoating, and all the junk. And not much rust. But um, anyway, it's stripped, it's on a rotisserie. So just wanted to show you, I guess, a rotisserie, if anything else, show you the bottom of the car. It's really kind of cool. It's a chick my, my buddy Ed and I built. We did it Super B. And I think Kevin's got an old school video on it where I was actually skinny. And, uh, and we actually uh, had Ed's X uh, Super B on it. So we'll put that there. Just take a quick walk and you can see the bottom of the car. It's really clean from California. Disc brake car, power disc brake. Originally a 318 car, nothing. Nothing fancy. Um, you can see some of the original uh, G6 gold on there. And uh, factory undercoated. Got it cleaned up. Power washed it the other day, so it's drying up. And we'll get it all stripped and uh, start the process of fixing a couple of the holes that are in the car body from people hanging exhaust brackets and some rando stuff on it. But uh, pretty clean, straight car. It's just the beginning of the process. Is it normal that, like, all this undercoating still looks like, I mean, it's still there. I mean, that stuff usually... It usually doesn't come off. It's, it's, it, it, gets, it gets hard. It's, it's like a rock. Okay. I mean, it chips and it flakes off in some spots, but for the most part, it's on there pretty good. Um, I scraped this with a putting knife just to see if I had any holes here I had to fix because I had a couple here, so... Um, it wears off with time, and I power washed the bottom of this the other day. Usually it turns this gray color with dirt, and I missed this spot so you can see the difference. Hmm. Um, so it's, it's usually not this black. Okay. Um, I was going to say, the underside of mine is, yeah, more of that gray, but it's never been, like, power washed or really yeah. cleaned out. Yeah, this had a lot of dirt and crap on it. Dirt, dust, mud, uh, mud wasps were kind of, they had a big nest over the wheel well and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I just wanted to get that... I wanted to get the garbage off of it before this guy comes down to sandblast it all. I just didn't want you know all the dirt and other crap and grease and stuff in with that getting on the metal if we could avoid it. So um, on a rotisserie, it's probably going to be on here for a little while. There's really not a whole lot of work to do on it. It's a, originally it was a vinyl top car, so the the bottom of the rear window did rot out, and so this is the most extensive amount of work I have to do is actually just repair this, much like your 300. Mm -hmm. So, really not that much work. And, um, it was in some sort of slight accident early in its life. I don't know how bad. We're going to measure the car to make sure that it's not tweaked. It, do it doesn't appear to be, but I just want to make sure and if it needs to be straightened, if that is the case, now's the time to do it. So... Other than that, there's really not a lot of sheet metal to fix on it. I've got the patch panels for the front fenders to put the gills in it uh, because I just don't believe you have a 71 Barracuda without the gills. It's just not right, hmm. even though it's not supposed to have it. But 
Um, it's going to get a 318 for now, which is stuffed over in that corner. Uh, it's a 69 318. Came out of a parts car, so that's been kicking around for a little while. So that's going to get put in behind a, or in front of an automatic 727. But I do have a 7440 out of a 300 that is really tempting to uh, rebuild and put in, but maybe down the road. Hmm. Because that's going to cost more money. I've got a lot of stuff that I own currently to make this run. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you know we could sneak that one in because now that the green car is gone, kind of conveniently have a 600 horse small block sitting there, which is kind of huh. another option. Interesting. Mm -hmm. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Sniper EFI, gonna put that on there. Um, there's my rack of parts. Uh, got a rolly shelf. I already got TTI exhaust system here for it. Um, Dashboard's out laying there. I ordered all the new interior panels, all aftermarket interior panels, which look really nice. Um, got a new headliner with that. Basically everything, all the soft trim is ordered for it. I picked up another grill while I was down at Carlisle. Some other parts that I needed. Um, gas tank is brand new with the fuel pump already in it, so that's going to definitely get EFI one way or another. And we'll see how that works. Nice. So, yeah. So yeah, this is pretty much just an introductory video. Um, this is where it's starting out at. I mean, stripped. Now you'll take this K-frame off, right? And yeah, all this front suspension has to come out. <clears throat> That's it. That's pretty much it. All right, well. Stay Hope you tuned. The show. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Right. You know what to do. You know the deal by now. If you want to see more of it, subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. I like the comments. Yeah, the comments oh, are interesting. Stuff. I will say on the comments, some of them they take so long to come in, and I don't see them very quickly. Some people have questions, and I just don't know how to get in touch with them because. YouTube's funny with their messenger. YouTube, I think, is discontinuing their PM system, which I think is That's kind of lame. garbage. So, I, like, yeah. Because otherwise, you know, I mean, most of the people that are probably watching are not creeps or weirdos. Right. I'm thinking. Hopefully. Well, yeah, I just, you know, how to get personal information out and get in touch with me is right. kind of on the down low. Yeah, but we're, we'll have to figure out some way of, like, content. I mean... I got a Twitter, but that thing is like all but abandoned. Yeah, I we mean, should make a Facebook page like Rick Quadruple Zero on Facebook or something. Yeah. And I'll check that out. That might be a thing. Yeah. I I'll think it's already there. I'll have it? to, yeah, well, we got one. <laughs> I have to just give you the password to it and maybe that's the answer. Sure. All right. Well, hope you liked it. Uh, I guess I'll check in as progress comes on this thing. Yeah, it'll probably be in the background of other videos in various mm -hmm. stages, so mm -hmm. um, like I said, the next step is basically just get it all stripped, and it's going to get stripped and primed right away, so it's not like it's going to be bare metal for long. It's going to be like the same day, or not the next day. It's going to get all primed out in the epoxy primer, and at that point, it's probably, probably going to be idle for a while. I've got another car to work on, so this just needed to get done. It's, you know, summertime here, and... You know, you got to take the opportunity to get outside when you can. Right. So, um, this will probably get more active over the winter. So, it's probably going to be, eh, you know, I'm going to say probably after Thanksgiving, Christmas time before I really kind of jump back into working on it in any kind of real major. Right. Thing. So, right. Um, it's just now get it done, get it cleaned, and then I can move along and right. And then it's acquire it could, parts as needed. Yeah, pretty much kind of how we have Kevin's car. It, it was sandblast and epoxied so at that point there's really no like you don't have to do anything it could just kind of sit idle and that's right. pretty much where you want to get this at so yeah. if it is sitting idle it's just coated it's not going to rust or anything because yeah. if i didn't do this now it would probably it would probably wouldn't be till next summer when i could do this and mm -hmm. do it outside mm -hmm. you know so that really puts then another year down on it right i'd rather do this and then in the meantime i can you know, I can strip the doors over the winter. I can right. you know, clean up brackets and, and sandblast parts and pieces. And that way, once the bottom of the car is put back together, or at least primed and painted, I can just start hanging all the new stuff back underneath it. I can put the you know, fuel lines, brake lines back in it. Um, it it'll, it'll go back 
together a lot quicker. I have the whole interior, so it's just a matter of getting the shell body mm -hmm. ready for paint, get it painted. I mean, literally, it's going to be, I mean, I could probably put the interior back in in a couple weekends. I was going to say, this it's, probably it's will... Go quick. It would go quick if this wasn't the only thing you were working on. Right. But I think even spacing it out, it's probably going to go pretty quick. Yeah. It's going to go quick for me, I, I feel. Yeah. And that quick is probably a year <laughs> hmm. or two. Or, you know, a couple weeks, like my pickup truck. Yeah. Yeah. Let's rub salt in that wound. Why not? You brought it up. I know. I had to. Man, we should get another video on that. That's early Rick Quadruple That's early Zero. YouTube. Yeah. I think the videos are still up there when we they're, pull the motor. They're right, up. Right? Yeah, that was one of the first videos I ever posted is pulling the motor to that thing. Was yeah. it the D100? Yeah. Yeah. 60 second engine pull. Check that one out. That's some early uh, YouTube junk there. Yeah. Watch the early videos. Yeah, we were skinnier. They're interesting. I, I had a, my haircut was worse back then. You definitely gained some weight. I did. I did, yeah. If you really look through some of the old videos, there was, I went through... I fluctuate a little bit here and there. Me too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Enough on our health. Uh, subscribe. Watch the videos. More cool stuff coming. See you guys later.